right, Dave? Yeah. Uh, we just lost 3-1 to FC Copenhagen. Yeah. Not a very good match. No. Not. What do you think about it? Um, well, yeah, obviously disappointed with the, with the loss, but um, we we always do better the next game if we lose. Um, and just stepping down today, I know there's a difference between the, the levels of the reserve and top team, but um, I'm sure, yeah, we'll, we'll do better next game. The side didn't look uh, very good today. What did uh, Tom and Søren say to you in the, in the break? <laughs> I don't understand Danish yet, so... Um, oh, they don't have time to speak English to you and oh, Josef? And obviously what they said is we just need to keep moving the ball, um, like keep shifting and shifting play and get it to the feet and just control it and um, not give away passes. That's basically what they said. Um, but it was extended, but that's the outline I got of it. So. So you've been away on internationals, so you haven't been training with the first team? Um, no, yeah, I've been, been away, so um, Tom just put me in the, the reserves for today and then on the bench tonight. Are you going away soon again? Um, no, I don't think so. I think I'll just be staying in Denmark for the next few months. But uh, with uh, Christopher Katongo and his success and Morten Duncan and all the others, yeah. uh, and Nikolai Aga moving up as well, uh -huh. where do you see yourself in the squad now? I mean, you almost had a spot in the first 11, yeah. but now you looks like you're on the bench again. Um, oh yeah, well it's obviously Tom's, Tom's decision and there is a bit of depth between the, the strikers that we have um, and it depends on what kind of game we're playing and who we're playing against to see who starts. So um, it's all up in the air but the main two strikers are Duncan and Katongo but um, if one of them is injured then I'm sure uh, I'm there or Nikolai Aga's there to step up. Are you satisfied with just being a joker on the bench? Um, no, like I, obviously I'm disappointed every week to, to be on the bench, but uh, that's where I'm put. And as when I get on, obviously I try to do my best. You're very popular with the fans. Have you noticed that? Uh, yeah, I have actually. <laughs> they start shouting, uh, Dave, already when you're warming up. How, yeah. It, how does that make you feel? Oh, it, it makes me feel good, and um, it puts like a bit of extra flair into to playing when I when I come on, I guess. You got a few goals in Royal League mm -hmm. uh, before uh, New Year. Yeah. Are uh, you a bit disappointed not to be playing in the final games because? I mean, um, no, it's, it's all right. It's um, I, I am disappointed not to play, but obviously it's um, the team that Tom puts out, and he knows best and got the experience, so I just go with it. You came on in the last few seconds in the final against FC Copenhagen. Yeah. How was it to be on the pitch when they won? Um, it was. It was good, um, good feeling, and the, the crowd was just um, enormous, and the, just the noise. It was, it was great. So it really meant something to win that trophy. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, well, at least we won something in this season, I guess. So, um, and obviously this year, and it, it put a, um, or well, it for the team now, um, we can say we've won something, and I think we're playing good football at the moment. So how is the confidence in the squad and uh, the um, rest of the season? Yeah, it's been good. Um, we're like bonding with, uh, like really well together in the team um, and all that, so it's it's going good. All right, good. Thank you for taking the time. Cool. No worries.